things that we all need to do better, and um, that's what we're going to have to start with. Uh, we'll have to maintain the positive things and try to correct the, the things that we need to correct and uh, play more consistently. Oh, boy. Late night, W-E-E-I, it's KJ. Thank you so much for hanging out. I'm not like, oh, boy, because it's late. I'm like, oh, boy, because... Why does it seem like on Patriots Monday sometimes the questions that you're dying to ask just don't get asked? Like, what were those 25 first scripted plays and how did they turn out? See, so I even took shots on this thing called Twitter where things aren't real, but they kind of are. Hey, it wasn't the play calling. It's Mac. No, it was not Mac yesterday. This is what I've been screaming from the hills. You cannot go into a second-year quarterback season with no immediate coordinator. Because it's game planning adjustments. So, for those who know how it kind of works, teams, when they go into games, they want to script their 25 best plays to start the game So that way they can get a feel of where they will make their adjustments. And I'm about to break it down to you how not only were adjustments not made, but how almost ironically at play 25, everything was decided for the Patriots. I'm not going to go through plays one, two, three, four, five. I'm just going to give you some key plays to show you that whatever the coordinators, whoever they are doing, are not doing Mac Jones any justice. So we'll start with play eight. Play eight was the interception in the end zone, and the score is 0-0. Now, when I call out plays, I'm going to include the ones that were called for penalties, right? If there's no play, it was still a play you had set up that you're going to run, and you're most likely not going to run the same play again, all right? Play eight is the interception to the end zone, score nothing, nothing. The drive looked good for the first seven plays, you would probably say. All right, let's move to play 17. That's the pass to Hunter Henry, and it leads to fourth down. The score is Miami three, Patriots nothing. Remember, 25 plays. You want to go your Play 19 is the sack, forced fumble, scoop for the defensive touchdown. Miami 10, Pats zero. That's play 19. Play 25, Max scrambles, and it leads to a punt on fourth down. Play 26, Mac Jones kneels down to end the first half. Now, I don't know if it was called 1 through 25, but I would think in the simpleton situation we're thinking, hey, we've got Joe Judge, we've got Matt Patricia, we want to keep things simple, that those 26 first half plays were somewhere in the 25th, 25 best plays. Miami had 33 plays that led to 17 points. The Pats had 26 plays that led to nothing. You're going to say, oh, no, KJ, it's the Bills got it handled. It's not the play call. Uh, uh, uh. Look, if you even did simple math, you say, okay, take the amount of plays you ran in the first half, divide it by two because you're playing two halves, And you should come up with a number, right? So 33 divided by 2 is 17, right? You you can't have 16 and a half points. 17. How many points did Miami have at the half? Justin? 17. Pats had 26 plays that led to nothing. So even if you divided their 26 plays, which were maybe seven of them were good, and divided it by two, at least you would have a 17-13 game at the half. And you can't even get them that.